All right. I took away your homework, right? 27 through 57. We're going to do the, the 43 through 57 or 45 through 57 today. So what we're going to look at here today is we have cosine of pi halves minus x. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, when you see that, automatically that's going to tell you, all right, I need to know my co-function identities, right? This is working at your co-function identities. If you guys remember, where does this stem from? When we were dealing in section 4.2 on the unit circle, if you guys go back, remember we determined that the cosecant of 60 degrees, all right, if you guys can think of your unit circle, the, cosi, or sorry, the cosine of 60 degrees was equal to the sine of 30 degrees. Those were equal to each other. And if you guys remember, we're like, well, how, you know, those are equal to each other. So what we did is we found out that the um, cosine of any angle of or 90 degrees minus, um, minus your angle is going to be equal to sine. Well, pi halves is the same thing as 90 degrees, right? That's just in radian form. So what we notice is the cosine of pi halves minus x, that's equal to the sine of x. All right? Then we have that multiplied by secant of x. Now, the secant of x, right now, I'm still not in a simplified form. Um, that's not really going to help me out. But let's go ahead and maybe transform secant. So by using the reciprocal identities, I can transform secant as to 1 over cosine of x. Now, again, nothing's really multiplying out, right? But if we multiply across, I get to apply sine of x over cosine of x. Now, I have this little ratio. And is that a, um, a quotient that I can use? Yeah, it's a tangent. So I can write this as a single um, identity, which is just tangent of x. And that would be your final answer. OK? If you look at the unit circle, the cosine of 60 degrees is equal to the sine of 30 degrees. So what we talked about was this. We said cosine of 90 minus theta is equal to the sine of theta. That was something we previously kind of talked about. Well, what is nine? this is 90 degrees, right? That's 90 degrees. Pi halves is the same thing as 90 degrees. It's just in radian form, right? Pi halves would be that angle right there, which is 90 degrees. So this is the same thing. It's just written in radian form rather than your degrees. So cosine of 90 or of you know, pi halves minus x is equal to the sine of x. OK. okay.